Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are going to install and set up a Viacom tablet on a Mac Mini M4 Pro easy step by step. Furthermore, we will fix any issue that comes with this Viacom tablet. Alright, are you ready? Let's get to it. First, I'm here in Google. I'm going to type in Viacom tablet. We want to install the Viacom tablet software or no worry guys, I also have the links below here so you can simply click on that link or copy and paste this link here to google and then press on enter here so now you can search to the software so right here i'm at this resource for your wacom tablet device which is legit website from wacom itself right now this is important guy we want to search the wacom model that you have for example, right here show on the screen, if you look at in the back of the Wacom tablet, you will see this model. So for example, mine is N to S S. And if you look at down here, this is my model, CTL-4 and 100. So I'm going to click on that. And if you look at down here, we see software for Mac OS window driver. So if you are Macs like mine, simply click on this download Mac drivers. Okay, and right now I have this step by step guide here how to install tablet driver. You can read through this or simply click on confirm download. And if we look at to the right here, we see this downloading button is downloading the software itself. So it will take a couple minutes, guys. I will speed the process up to save us time. All right, so now that it's finished, if we look at to the right here, you can simply click on the show in folder here or come to finder. So click on finder and then we want to go to download. Simply click on this download folder and now here it is, Wacom Tablet Installer. I'm going to double click on that to open the installer and here it is. Now we want to double click on the installer here to install to the computer. All right, so first we have introduction. Simply click on continue down here. Now software license agreement. Depend on what language you use. For this example, I have English. So I'm going to use English as my language here. And then I'm going to click on continue. And okay, so right now we want to click on agree. If you want to click on this degree, you can't use the software. So we have to click on agree. And next, click on install. And here it requires my PIN number. So I'm going to type in my PIN number here and then press on enter to confirm. All right, so now it appears over here that we are going to have notification and so on right here. You can click on allow or don't allow. So for me to help her notification, including alert, I normally click on don't allow. And then now come back over here, I'm going to click on close. All right, so here, do you want to remove the installer to trash or you want to keep, I'm going to click on move to trash here. So now I'm going to simply close this download folder here. And I'm going to also close this as well and close this. Next, I'm going to also let minimize this. I'm going to plug in my Wacom tablet, okay? All right, so when I plug in my Wacom tablet here right now, I'm using the pen on the Wacom tablet. It seems like working pretty well right now on my Wacom tablet. However, though, if your tablet doesn't work properly, there are options we want to do here. So we want to go to this Apple icon here, and then we want to go to system setting. And then I'm going to come over here to the search box and then type in privacy and security. So if you look at right here, I have privacy and security. I'm going to click on that. And we want to come down here to accessibility. Click on that. So if you look at right here, I have my Wacom tablet here, allow. So another thing I want to mention here, after you allow this Wacom tablet under accessibility and then still not working, there's one more option that you need to do. You can come over here and go back to privacy and security once again. And then this time scroll down to until you see input monitoring, okay? So come down here to input monitoring, click on that. And if you look at right here, I have these property are all on. So if yours not on, be sure to toggle this on before this Wacom tablet to work. So next, I'm going to click on this X here to close. To set up this Wacom tablet, I'm going to press on command and the space bar here and then type in Wacom 
center. So Wacom Center, where you can select it and you can set up your pen. Let's say what sensitive your pen you want to be, or you can even sign in. Let's say you want to create an account for your with Wacom tablet. If you first purchase, you want to set up an account here. However, though I'm already signed up, I do not need to create another account. And over here, on screen shortcut and software offer, you click on this right here, you have to log in to get into your software offer. And to create that, simply type in your email and password and then click on submit here if you already have an account with them. But if you are new to Wacom Tablet, make sure you click on sign up here and then fill in your information. Right now, on screen shortcut here, it has some more tips and tutorial for you if you want to learn more about Wacom Tablet. For me, I'm going to come over here to my device, okay? And there are a couple of things I want to mention that's important for you as a content creator. I'm going to go over here to pen setting, okay? Pen setting allow you to set your pen, let's say for example, tip feel. Either you want it firm or soft. For me, I prefer it on the center here. And down here, tip for double click. When you double click, you want to how fast it, the Wacom tablet react to your application or your software. For me, once again, on the center is fine. However, though, if you want to decide it to, let's say I want to the distance up over here, simply click and now you go back to large, which means the distance when you double click, it will get larger. Or you can click over here to get kind of smaller when you double click. I'm going to place it on the center here. Simply click and then place it on the center. To the right here, if we look at to the pen, we have the top button right there, right click and down here, scroll and down here, click. So I normally leave as is because that is the best option. If you guys decide to change anything, simply click on here and then you can change it to either disable default or left click or tablet, however you like. Right now, I'm going to click on that to get out. Okay, now one more thing, this is important, okay? Mapping. So mapping, so first of all, let's explore this next one here. So right here, you have panel, which is to the left. You have, let's say, pen display, modifier, Photoshop, colors or Photoshop, if you click on each of this, you can come to the right and you can start to modify how you like on each. Let's say you want to, you have the pen behave certain way when you use a brush on Photoshop. For this example, I don't use Photoshop nor Adobe Illustrator. So I do not need to worry about this, okay? However, though, I will show you one more thing here. Let's come back to the mapping first because the two most important thing that I want to mention here are mappings and pen. Because pen, we want to know where it is and how soft or hard the tip feel or the mapping here, this is important. So for me, I prefer as used as a pen. If you like to use it as a mouse, simply click on it to use it as a mouse. I'm going to come back here and click on as a pen because it feel normal for me. And right here, the screen area, okay? So it's up to you. You can either click and then change it to portion or monitor. I will leave it as full because that's how I like it. And tablet area, the same thing. Click on here, you can change it to portion or full. I will leave it as full, okay? Next, go back to this tablet here. So tablet, on the tablet itself, you see this button right here, it tells you what the modifier do, okay? So right here, we have four buttons right there and then you can either leave this show expanded view or uncheck how you like, but that's not that important. The most important thing here, right here, the pen and mapping. All right, so next, let's come over here. Let's say right here I have application and then this is fit all to any application that we have in the computer. If you want extra, let's say for example, I have CapCut, I have other program that I want to use or application I want to use. I simply click on the plus sign here and then come down here. Okay, I have QuickTime player. Simply click on there and then click on OK. And now I have QuickTime player right here and one more. If I click on the plus signs again and come down here to browse, and I can actually find more application here that I want to use the pen with. However, by default, my pen will work with all of these, okay? So you don't have to worry about that. All right, let's just select one anyway. Let's say I use iMovie. Click on there and then click on open here and then click on okay. Now iMovie appears here. So that is how you set up your Wacom tablet here, easy step by step. Now I'm going to click on X here to close and let's click on X here once again to close and let's use a pen here. So right now I am using my pen here and I'm going to click on this 
Google here to open and then go to my account here. And now I'm going to type in, let's say, Wacom tablet software. You want to type in software driver. By the way, guys, no worry because I already have the link below here. When you click on it, you will get right onto this software. So now, since like it's working perfectly, so I hope this video helped, guys. And if you have any questions, leave the comment below the video. I love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching this video and happy creating. Bye.